IF. 33 found out that my ex-husband M. 37 was cheating on me when I was 7 months pregnant with our son. I got a divorce and we share custody of our 3 year old son. My ex-husband's girlfriend tried to get involved in my parenting several times. She even commented on my son's name implying that we should agree on a name we all want, not just what I wanted, and tried to dictate what he should and shouldn't have. As a result she started throwing stuff of his that I paid for myself. Honestly it's frustrating because I'm barely getting by with the money I have and cannot afford to buy replacement for all the stuff she throws put. But my ex-husband says it's her house and she gets to decide what can and can't enter. I made a crochet blanket for my son with his name on it. This blanket is special to me and the tools I used to be able to make it cost me money. Not to mention the time and effort it took to get it down. I sent my son to stay with his dad days ago and he wanted to take the blanket with him to sleep with it. I don't know exactly what happened but when I came to pick him up he told me his dad's girlfriend took it away from him and threw it out leaving him with no blanket to sleep with at night as punishment for him for not accepting the one she offered. I was furious. I called his dad, but he hung up on me, I sent him a text explaining the situation, but he texted back telling me that I should stop the drama and go look for a job if I have so much free time on my hand instead of picking on his girlfriend. I felt frustrated I visited his family who are good to me and told them about what their son's girlfriend did, now it's worth mentioning that she's been working hard for their approval and to get on their good side. They were shocked to know about what she did they all flipped out on her and started calling her out. My sil took it further by putting this on social media which made other family members see what she did. My ex-husband called me yelling about my pathetic attempt to turn his family against his girlfriend. I could hear her freaking out in the background while he was lashing out at me saying I ruined every chance she had to have a good relationship with her future in-laws. I hung up and felt absolutely horrible, even though I was just venting to his family about what happened and felt frustrated. Maybe I shouldn't have told them? I'm not sure anymore, since the whole family aren't speaking to her see, that might have a lasting impact on their relationship with her. NTA this lady is abusing your child. I'd be in court making sure she was nowhere near him again. Probably the ex-husband too. He's enabling this. NTA I don't think you took it far enough. She didn't let him sleep with a blanket as a punishment. I would be revisiting custody to limit the damage she can do. Who punishes a 3 yo like that? Totally inappropriate. NTA but you need to switch your brain to legal advice and speak to your attorney about this. She can't just throw away his things if they were purchased by you. There isn't some parenting loophole where anything can be thrown away when it doesn't belong to them. You should also seek a better custody agreement to get ahead of this, since it certainly won't get better, only worse. Also, document. She made the kid sleep without a blanket as punishment. This is borderline abusive. What if it was winter time and X is doing nothing to stop it? He started yelling about my pathetic attempt to turn his family against his girlfriend. And you told his family about his pathetic attempt at parenting, where he is more interested in getting his d asterisk 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 wet than being a good father. NTA. Yeah, in the beginning he was shutting me down when I tried to bring up the situation, but now he's saying I'm willing to go out of my way to stir drama than be an adult and talk about it. That's, I don't know what to say. He's a hypocrite. NTA. Semicolon. He told me his dad's girlfriend took it away from him and threw it out leaving him with no blanket to sleep with at night as punishment for him for not accepting the one she offered. Semicolon. So she uses the kid you have with your ex as a sort of weapon, something to make you angry with. Jesus. What is your ex seeing in that woman? It's one thing if she doesn't want to have your stuff in their home, though I'm not sure 3 years old's blanket qualifies as such, but quite another to act this way. And she's surprised her potential in-laws aren't glad with it? She has only herself to blame. Greater than sign. What is your ex seeing in that woman? Probably a kindred spirit. He cheated on his wife when she was 7 months pregnant. He sees nothing wrong with a grown a asterisk asterisk woman traumatizing a 3 year. Our souls of a feather stick together. Op is NTA. 
NTA. Your kid's dad is awful here too. Any chance you could get custody amended so that your son has less exposure to the girlfriend? It's great that his family's good to you and involved, but he himself clearly isn't good to your son if he's letting this happen. Document. 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 They are emotionally and mentally abusing your son by throwing out his comfort objects that help him transition between houses. And I guarantee they are saying negative things about you to your son. Document every single thing you can. Conversations. Text messages. Things your son tells you. Get your son to a child psychologist so they can document any issues your son has with your ex and his GF. Then go to court and get custody agreement changed to state the GF can't be around the child. Depending on the ex's actions you might even be able to get full custody. Keep your ex's family in your son's life as much as possible, even if you end up remarrying. He deserves to know his family. NTA. NTA I would look into custody again. She made your 3 year old sleep with no blanket because he didn't react how she wanted. She should not be alone with your child full stop. HMM. If your ex and his GF were so confident that her actions were normal and you were just creating drama, why are they so upset that his family members know the truth? NTA. You did everyone a favor. Request supervised visitation when your little guy is with his pop. NTA. Speak to a lawyer. This is emotional abuse. Keep the ex's family in your son's life. Your husband only deserves supervised visitation. If someone can be so cruel to a three-year-old and the parent does not protect them, the parent does not have the right to be in the child's life. They must be mistreating the child more than you know. Take the child to a child psychiatrist. Op should be talking to CPS slash DCFS and a lawyer. Sue for 100% custody. Your son's stepmother is abusive and his father is enabling her. I would never send him over again knowing that he might sleep without a blanket again. NTA also you didn't lie or exaggerate. The fact that she was freaking out proves that she knew what she was doing and now freaking out that the truth about her abusive way is coming out. Save your ex's text messages to document the situation. NTA. Bullies thrive off their victim's aversion to confrontation. You didn't choose to take a homemade blanket from a child and throw it away. She did. If describing her actions is all it took to turn everyone against her maybe she shouldn't have taken those actions. She has a history of throwing his stuff away. Honestly she's, and your ex, lucky you didn't take her to small claims court or report them to the court to get their custody revoked. Wow, it's almost like his family judged her based on her actions. Who would have guessed? NTA. She's being not only tar, but just plain cruel to your son. I would honestly consult a lawyer because I would worry about this woman abusing your son either physically or emotionally. NTA. There is literally nothing a three-year-old could do to warrant that punishment in the first place. They have a very limited understanding of action and reaction and a short attention span. Adults who parent like this are either intentionally cruel or lack basic understanding. My guess is that the GF cares so little about the child that it is a mixture of both. NTA. She made him sleep without a blanket as punishment. I would have scorched the earth. You and me, both. I would have gone full on Molly wheel eye on her ass. NTA. But you need to go back to court to try to modify the visitation schedule so that dad can't visit when his paramour is present. Your child is not safe with her. NTAF asterisk 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 them both for being assholes. You're a single mum with a child under the age of 5 years old how dare he tell you to get a job. You didn't make up stories. She did what you said and he refused to intervene. NTA. She did it to herself. She behaved like a 3 years old against the actual 3 year old child and got punished like she should. I would take a stand and don't send over any clothes or stuff. Let them buy and have their owns. Not fun for your son, but it is a good boundary to enforce, so she can't do this. And maybe take them to court for primary home. This is not good for your son to have his stuff thrown away and not being listened to. NTA. She's trying to make it like you don't exist when he is with them. I can only imagine what she will do when they have a kid on their own. And that will not be good for your kid. She make the things she did and now will have to live with the consequences. 
NTA. It is not your job to protect her from the consequences of her actions. What she did was shitty, and she knows it. If she didn't want to look like a shitty person to her future in-laws, then she shouldn't have done it. She also shouldn't have assumed that you wouldn't tell anyone. This is totally on her and on your ex. She did it, and he did nothing to correct her past actions either. He told me his dad's girlfriend took it away from him and threw it out leaving him with no blanket to sleep with at night as punishment. This is abuse, not punishment. He was lashing out at me saying I ruined every chance she had to have a good relationship with her future in-laws. His priorities are all out of whack. There's a 3 year old kid whom he could parent and instead he wants his parents approval for a homewrecker. NTA. NTA she had absolutely no right to do that. She got called out and obviously doesn't like that. But in the end she only has herself to blame for her pathetic behavior. NTA. The family should know, you're not gossiping or lying, you're just sharing something she's doing to you and your son. She deserves to be shunned, and your ex does too. I will say you're still putting that on social media was a bit much, but that's not your fault or problem. NTA. It's not your job to protect petty, cheating us. If she doesn't want them to think badly of her, then she should act better. If she's doing things that she can't defend to a toddler, that's on her. NTA she deserved it. She's being abusive to your child and it's very concerning that your child's father thinks it's acceptable maybe time to revisit your custody and visitation arrangement if she's going to be that cruel to him already. NTA. None of that is good for your child. Is a lawyer a possibility? Because it sounds like new girl should not be around your child let alone overnight visits. A lawyer could make her have to decide whether she wants to play house or actually be a real parent figure to a living child.